As you guys know from the title, it is Thanksgiving Day. Me and Mom are gonna eat some food and do all that stuff in a little bit, but we're gonna go to the number one zoo in the country today, the Fort Worth Zoo. And before we do that, my man Edward, he has to have his Thanksgiving meal, right? So we're gonna get some of his uh, frozen pinkies out, we're gonna thaw them out in some warm water, and then we're gonna give him his Thanksgiving meal too. So I know I said pinkies, but I'm gonna say fuzzies, obviously. I don't think I've ever showed this on camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a mug, just like this is the Area 51 one. I really wanna go back. If you want to see a video going to Area 51, let me know because we can do it. So we're going to grab this. Fill it over the water about three quarters of the way. Now I've perfected the length of time it needs to be in here. 42 seconds is perfect. So we're going to wait for that. We're going to grab one of these dudes out of here, just like that. We have our water for defrosting. We're going to drop this little dude in there. And we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and then he'll be ready. Okay, so he's been sitting here for 10 minutes. Now we gotta get him out without a bunch of water on him. So we're gonna drain this. Okay, so there he is pretty much just in there by himself. We're gonna put him on some paper towels. The reason we do this is we don't want a bunch of aspen fiber to stick to him because he's wet, because aspen is really light and stuff. And then Edward will ingest that aspen fiber and he can get track infections and all different stuff that you don't want. You don't want him to get stopped up, you know? So we're gonna dry this guy off. Okay, Edward is not out right now, but I'm sure he'll be pretty easy to find here. We can just straight up hand feed him, which would be kind of cool to see. Okay, let's see, this is his uh, humidity box right here. Is he in there? I don't think he is. Let's check his real hide on the hot side. Yep, there he is. Hey, buddy. Look, he's stuck up in there, you see that? He's always on the little crevices and stuff. But I'm gonna feed you. You wanna, you wanna eat? Okay, so I'm just gonna grab this with my hands right here, and he should just take it. He's really good about eating. You wanna get that shot, Mom? He's spooked because I picked him up like this. There you go. There he goes. Now I'm gonna put this back down. Hopefully it don't fall out when I do this. Perfect. And that is Edward's Thanksgiving meal. So after about 30 minutes of driving, we finally made it. Super cool. There's a creek you had to walk over to get here, which is cool too. I don't know where we're going first. We're just gonna kind of wing it because we don't have maps. So, uh... Oh, I guess we can get a digital map. We'll do that. So I'm really excited for the reptiles. I hope they have a ton. I looked on their website. It didn't show that much, but I think it didn't show everything either. So, uh, hopefully there'll be a lot of reptiles. Hopefully there'll be some cool stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, we found the worst animal again. This is the second zoo tour, but same animals again here, I'll show you. Yeah. Heading into the African section. Whole area set up, like themed. There's like food places and stuff. Got a nice little giraffe here. Some ostriches. Got some juveniles too. Look at like statues, not even moving. Look at this absolute moron. What are you doing? A bunch of African cichlid. No way. And a hip hop. What? What are you even looking at? This is nuts. Oh are the coolest hippo enclosure I've ever seen. These African cichlids are insane. The amount of them, it's crazy. Got some meerkats. Hey buddies. This guy's coming right up. Hey guys. Got elephants and stuff. But so far we've only seen the basic zoo animals. So let's go find some reptiles or something. Something that's actually cool. Oh, this is cool. Look at this building. We have a saltwater crocodile. I'm hoping we can get to the other side. He's all the way over there, but he has a huge enclosure. Look at that, you can get an underwater view too. Super cool. The inside of the building over there is closed, which is unfortunate, but we can get a little better view right here of this dude. Freshwater area with some fly river turtles. I didn't even see this, but there's gharial back there. There's like none of those left in the wild, so it's cool to see them here. Here we go, reptile place. Let's do it. Okay, we showed you one of these from yesterday at the reptile store, but this guy is massive. These are the ones that live in the Florida Everglades. It's supposed to live there you can see in Southeast Asia, but he is massive. That is a big Burmese pylon. Think about that showing up in your backyard in Florida. They have a tentacled snake, which I've never seen in captivity ever. Right there you can see part of him. I wish he was out, but look how cool it is. Pretty much exclusively in the water. That is so cool. I've never seen one in any exhibit like this. 
Boone Viper, who is incredibly well blended in right here. These guys are so thick. This one's not nearly as big as the guy that we saw at the Riverbank Zoo, but they have the longest fangs of any snake in the world. I've never actually seen these dudes ever. Look at them. That is a unique looking fish. And you guys have seen these on the channel many times. Those are rainbow fish. And these guys are huge in here. Look how cool. These are what I had in my 40 gallon tank until recently when I had to get rid of it. And then there's also arowana in here. Big ol' arowana, super, super cool. This enclosure is awesome. Let me just give you an overview of it. Look at that. It goes all the way around. That is huge. Green mambas, look at the scales on this guy. Is that not gorgeous? Look at him. Oh my God. That's a beautiful snake. Look at him. He is gorgeous. They really got the name right, didn't they? <laughs> this is one of my favorite snakes ever. I'll put up some really cool pictures of them. Look at him though. That is a pretty snake. Leaf-tailed gecko. I wish this guy was on a branch so you could see how well they blend in. His friend back there is on the wall, but you can imagine if he was on one of these branches, how well he would blend in. Look at this king cobra enclosure. It is huge. All the way up to the ceiling. Not the biggest king cobra I've ever seen, but definitely a good looking guy. The Bushmaster. It would be so cool to see one of these guys in the wild. They're the largest pit viper in the Americas and he is gorgeous. They can get like 12 feet long, I think, which is insanity. Now this is an insane example of camouflage. Look at that. That's him right there, looking just like a leaf. Now this thing would be terrifying to find in a cave or something. There's my hand for reference. That thing is massive. This one is hard for me to look at, but these are essentially massive versions of the roaches we have, and they're all right there. Oh my God, I need to get over my fear of roaches somehow. These guys are like probably twice the size of the ones we get. Maybe like this big, really freaking huge. This is a cool room. Oh my God. Oh yeah, they're getting fed right now. Oh, that's so cool. We got a big old red tail right here. Freshwater stingrays, some turtles. I'll get to that in a second. And then there's this guy over here. I don't remember these are called. I'm pretty sure Jeremy Wade called one on um, River Monsters, but I'll try to find the name of that for you. And another big old arowana. This one's even bigger than the last one. Goodness gracious. Okay, this is a massive baku. I wish I could give you some perspective. Oh my god. Okay, this is a dwarf crocodile, not a dwarf caiman. He looks very similar. And look at him. That is cool. Super cool rainbow trout enclosure. A lot of these don't have good lighting. Even like, this is the only room that's good for lighting because there's windows, but most of this is like really dark and dim. So I'm sorry if the quality isn't that high. I need to get a nicer camera so uh, it can be better for you guys, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, there's some archer fish right here, which are so freaking cool. They actually spit water into branches and stuff to hit insects down. These are the legless fish, I guess. Oh my God, are these Asian arowana? They might be Asian arowana, we gotta check. And they're not even on this thing, but I'm pretty positive they're Asian arowana because it's the Asia enclosure, so. see some fish in this enclosure that I used to own. You guys didn't see it, it was before the YouTube channel, but they're called white cloud minnows, right here. I don't know where they went. They're somewhere in here though. Look at that, he is just hanging out. These reflections make me wanna die. I've never seen these guys, but look, they like basically don't have a tail. Shield tailed agama. European Longnose Viper. Look how cool these guys are. Is that not insane? Look at them. We have the Massasauga. I think I'm pronouncing it right, but they live in the US in a very small region around the Great Lakes, as you can see. Yep, there he is, up in the tree. He's gotta be one of the coolest looking venomous snakes in the US, for sure. You know I love this snake. Great band of king snake. Can't really see it very well. If you look closely, you'll see some scales back there. I really wish he was out. I've never seen one in real life. I might have to get one eventually. These are, according to me, the prettiest snake that's in the US, as you can see. Southwest US, real small area. I can't find this guy, but you've seen coral snakes in the other zoo tour video before. Pine snakes, this is so cool. They have like a den under here for them. These guys are massive too. Closely related to the bull snake and gopher snake. They are so freaking cool. Look at them, they are huge, look. That's quite a big old pine snake right there. And then the cousin to the Gila monster, the beaded lizard. And there he is. They're actually much, much, much bigger than the Gila monster. Theoretically, there's only two venomous lizards in the world. And it's these guys and Gila monsters, but I've heard that they're finding other things. So 
I don't know how true that is, don't mark my words, but this is definitely a confirmed venomous lizard and the big brother to the Gila monster. And then a huge Komodo dragon enclosure. Looks like there's just one of them, but obviously it does need to be big because they are the biggest lizard in the world back there. And you know I was mentioning only two venomous lizards? These guys have a very toxic saliva, which venom, I guess, technically is a modified saliva. So are they venomous? Are they not? It's up for debate. There's so many, actually way more than the riverbanks do, so that was really cool. I didn't get to show you all of them. If I did, it would just been videos of riverbanks the entire time and like no talking because I didn't have stuff to say about all of them but I hope you guys liked the reptile enclosure it was much cooler than riverbanks much more uh comprehensive and I really enjoyed seeing a lot of the snakes and stuff that I had never seen before that was cool but we have a few more things left to see so let's go ahead and do that too <laughs> hey hello so much better than the reptile there's like no one in here so it's quiet but this is a great barrier reef exhibit tang right there not as big into reefs and stuff like this or saltwater tanks but definitely some really colorful fish compared to freshwater like it's insane the variety you can get in saltwater here's a brush turkey he narrowly escaped today he's probably praying right now these are white-necked ravens and they are massive look at this dude that's like a bird of prey but a raven the area we're about to go in is called texas wild i'm wondering if it's um like local native animals because that would be really cool oh i think it must be guadalupe map turtle guadalupe bass that must be what it is that's really exciting i'm actually super stoked for this this whole area is texas themed but the only texas animals i've seen so far are those ducks which is uh kind of disappointing hopefully they have the bass and that turtle that i was talking about just a little bit ago guys our first herp in some random creek that's inside the park look at that that's so cool got lucky there's a snake i go down there but i don't want to get in trouble for a turtle this should be quite interesting. Oh my God, this is cool actually. Oh, diamondback water snake, no way. No way, he could live out there in that creek. Actually, I guarantee you some of these guys live out there in that creek. We don't have these in Augusta, but as you can see, they are in the majority of Texas here. Super cool, Nerodia, just like our water snakes, but a different subspecies. Guys, there's a broad-banded copperhead right here. Oh, you can see him way better on camera. Oh, that's so cool. I don't want to use this flash so long. I don't want to bother him. We don't have broad banded copperheads in um, Augusta, but do you see how his bands are really wide? That is so cool. There's some super cool enclosures in here. There's a black spotted newt right there. The lighting is so much better in here too. Rio Grande Cooter. I guess this is some kind of river cooter. Hanging out down there with his little minnow friends in here. We got some red spotted toads in this 360 enclosure. They have a nice solarium. There's a red tailed hawk and hummingbirds in the same enclosure. I'm wondering why he's in something like this. Hopefully they take him out and do like falconry stuff with him sometimes because it's kind of sad if he doesn't. Then we got a turkey vulture. Look at that. Can't help but feel bad for this guy being in this enclosure. But also their range in the wild is so small now that most likely there's nowhere good for them to live. It's kind of sad. They used to actually make it all the way up into the Americas, like part of Texas and stuff. But now their range is very constricted. Another big cat right here. This guy is much bigger than that jaguar. Big old bald eagle over there. I think most of the time when these guys are in captivity is because they were injured in the wild and then put here. Not actually bred to be in captivity. There's a big alligator snapping turtle under there, like probably a hundred and some pounds, massive. And then an American alligator in the same enclosure. He is quite big too, maybe 12 feet. He's huge. So that is about it, you guys. That is a Fort Worth Zoo. It was voted number one zoo in the country, I think last year or something like that. So super cool, tons of reptiles, which is always awesome to see. I really wanna to go to a reptile only zoo, maybe like the alligator farm in St. Augustine, something like that, as soon as possible to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, mom, for coming with me. Um, we're gonna go eat some Thanksgiving dinner, lunch, something like that. It's about a 30 minute drive back, so gotta get on the road, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, you know what to do. Thank you again, I'll see y'all later, peace.